Today for Checkup 13, we're looking at lung cancer. There is a high correlation with smoking and sometimes even environmental exposure. Now there is a screening, a low dose CT lung scan that can detect this cancer when it's early, when there's a chance for a cure. But unfortunately, too few people are getting it or even know about it. Let's change that. This is what a low dose CT scanner looks like. It takes pictures of your organs and bones and then produces images like these of the lungs for your doctors to review. And while a Chex x-ray showed nothing, the CT of Dick Kane's lungs detected three spots. So it's still fairly small, but a little worrisome because it's not uh, normal shaped. Uh, so it's a little irregular borders and everything. So when I first saw that, my first thought is this could potentially be lung cancer. That was a pretty shocking thought. Dick and his wife Cheryl have two daughters, Dakota and Sierra, both adopted from China and loved bits. When daddy's sick, it is a big deal. Dick knew he had to find out what was wrong. He agreed to biopsies and that confirmed cancer. I'm still digesting the fact that I have lung cancer. You know, that's... Well, okay, I guess I have it. Okay, there's no question about it. The weird thing is, is I had, I had no other symptoms. No coughing, no wheezing, no coughing up blood, nothing. But Dick did have one risk factor, a history of smoking. Nicotine addiction is a terrible thing. Once you, once you get addicted to it, it's tough to, tough to break it. And I'm still working on breaking it. Dick went in for surgery and doctors there removed less than half of his right lung. He's pictured here a day after the procedure, offering a thumbs up as he updates his family from his hospital bed. I think the fact that we caught it very early and it doesn't show any spread anywhere else, his prognosis is great. Doctors say that Dick's cancer was stage one and they now consider him cured. The whole idea of catching stuff early with, you know, getting our screening CT scans is to catch it early so if we can take him to surgery, that's the only way to offer a cure for lung cancer. All the other options, you know, when people think about radiation, chemotherapy, and all those other things, that's not really a cure. The only cure is to actually surgically remove it when it's early on. <laughs> And the best way to find it in the first place is to proactively screen patients just like Dick, those who are at risk. It all starts with scheduling that screening. Don't blow it off, because it's not going to go away. <laughs> you can ignore it, but it's not going to go away. That's one thing I have learned in my life. You can ignore unpleasant things, but they don't go away. Right now, across the country, less than 6% of the people who qualify for this screening are getting it. So let's move that number. They'd like to see you come in for this screening if you're at least 50 years old, a current smoker, or a former heavy smoker who quit within the last 15 years. If you're considered at risk, it's covered by insurance. Without insurance, the cost is $99. This scan is available at all these Ascension St. Vincent locations all around central Indiana. You can learn more about this by calling the hotline and by registering online. Just go to WTHR.com and do that by midnight tonight. I'm Anne-Marie Tiernan, and thank you for making your health a priority.